Preview สวัสดีครับ Good morning everyone and welcome back to our English 3 class Today we will continue our discussion about the unit 1 Are you ready? Let's go! Alright, let us continue our discussion about the unit 1 in English 3 slash 2 our unit one is about they are from Australia. Before we proceed to our main topic, let us first read our target goals for today. First, I can define what pronoun is. I can enumerate the personal pronouns. And I can identify the pronoun in a sentence or in a picture. These three target goals for today you need to perform at the end of the discussion. Clear? Good job. Now, I have here another dance, so please stand and let us first do some exercise. All right, just follow the video. Follow the steps. Go. Wake up. All right. Stretch. Oh, the boys just step. It's a way. <laughs> Yes! Very good, everyone! Did you enjoy that one? Okay, good job! Now, this will be our day two. And our day two is about grammar. Our, our specific grammar for today is about personal pronouns. Have you heard personal pronouns? All right, yes, we already did this one in the first batch of our videos, right? But then, this is a complete list of personal pronouns. It's because the last time, we only did three pronouns, right? So you need to listen carefully, you need to watch the video, all right, and then if you want to list down some notes then it's okay all right 
Are you ready? Of course, every time we proceed to, uh, before we proceed to our main topic, let us do first a review. Good job. So these are the countries that we already learned last time. We have the first one is, yes, good job, it's Egypt. The second one is the UK. Good job. The third one is Russia. Correct. The fourth one we have Spain. How about the fifth one? Thailand. Good job. Next, Australia. Very good. And then the USA and then Brazil very good everyone you still uh, can remember these countries now let's have a game do you like a game okay let's start you need to give the correct country all right so I will show you the flag and a place in that country and then you must give me the correct one Alright? Okay. So what country is this? The flag has an eagle. And in that country, we can see pyramids. Wow! Very good. It's Egypt. Good job. How about this one? What country is it? What country is this one? Mm, you are thinking the wrong one. It has no stars. So therefore, if only the pattern, just like crossing lines, this is the UK. Good job. How about this country? It starts with letter R, yes. So this is Russia. Very good. It's Russia. Text one. What's this? Yes, good job. It's Spain. How about this one? It has six stars. It's easy to remember. Okay, it's Australia. Good job. Next one. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the USA. Okay. Oops. Another clue here. This country has a Brazilian coffee. <laughs> Yeah, this one is Brazil. And then the last one? Of course, is this is the easiest one. This is our country, Thailand. Alright, so those are the eight countries that we have already discussed last time. Right? So don't forget their spellings and how to read those words. Okay? Good job, everyone. Now, I will play the first scene or scenario in our book, okay? And then after playing this one, I will read it again, and then we will answer some questions, all right? Okay, now listen to this one. All right, let's play. Australia. 
Alright, that's the video. Now, again, I will read the dialogues of each character there, alright? So we have in the first scenario... First character is Holly. Where is Holly? Is Holly a girl or a boy? Yes, it's a girl. This is Holly. So Holly says, Where are our cousins? Wait, I need to make it more realistic. Alright, wait, wait, wait. Holly says, Where are our cousins? Okay. And then, the second one is Max. Where's Max? This is Max. Alright. So this is Holly, and this one is Max. So Max says, I don't know. And then their mom, where's their mom? Mom says, Here's a photo. That's Amy and that's Leo. So their mom showed a photo of Amy and Leo. Alright? And then Holly says, Look! There they are! Hello! So Holly thinks that these two are Amy and Leo. But Max says, They aren't. They aren't Amy and Leo. They are from Russia. So these two are from Russia. But Amy and Leo are from Australia. Amy and Leo are from Australia. Okay? Next scenario. The third one here. Holly says to these two, Are they Amy and Leo? So Holly thinks again that these two are Amy and Leo. But Max says, No, they aren't. They're from the USA. So these two are from the USA. And then, Amy, this is Amy. Amy says, Hi, are you Max and Holly? So Amy says, Hi, are you Max and Holly? And then Leo, this is Leo. Leo says, I'm Leo says, I'm Leo and this is Amy. We are your cousins. Alright, and then Max says, Really? And then Amy says, yes, that's an old photo. Alright, so this is the story in our first unit. They are from Australia. So we need to answer some of the questions here. First question. Who says, where are our cousins? Do you remember? Who says, where are our cousins? Is it Holly? Is it Max? Is it Leo? Or Amy? Wow, very good. It's Holly. Second question. Who showed the photo to Max and Holly? Who showed the photo to Max and Holly. That photo is the 
old photo of Amy and Leo, right? So who showed that one to Max and the Holly? Yes, their mom. Third one. Amy and Leo are from what country? Amy and Leo are from what country? Is it from Russia? From USA? Or from Australia? Good job! They are from Australia. Yes. Last one. Who says that's an old photo? That is an old photo. Who says that one? Yes, it's Amy. Good job, everyone. Now, let us now do the grammar time. Ready for the grammar? You must be ready every time, all right? Hey, you listening to me? Hey, me. All right, so what are pronouns? Did you remember the meaning of a pronoun again? Okay, let, let us refresh your knowledge, all right? Pronouns take the place of nouns. Pronouns take the place of nouns. But how? Again, pronouns take the place of nouns. One more time. Pronouns take the place of nouns. Awesome. Alright. So you already know the definition of a pronoun. Now, let us do a quick review of what we have done last time. We have what we call the personal pronouns. We have here the list of personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. Last time, Last time, we only did these three personal pronouns. We have the he, she, and it. Alright, so let's see if you already remember that one. So these are some examples of he. Alright, if we have a a baby boy, a grandpa, a boy or a man, and a dad, then we can change their names into the pronoun he. Alright? Again, boy, he. How about if we have these four? We have a baby girl. A girl or a woman. Mom. Grandma. If we have girls, then we can change their name into she. Right? So boys, he. Girls, she. Alright? How about this next four pictures? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's dangerous. Wow. Oh, very cute. So, as you can see here, we have a specific, or there's no specific thing. It's like girl or a boy. We have the first one, which is a phone. Second one is a motorbike. These two are things right phone and a motorbike are things school is a place right 
and monkey is an animal. So therefore, if we can, or if we will change, all right, these kind of uh, things, place, and animals, we can change those into it. Okay? Again, for things, for places, and for animals, we can change them into it. Let's review. Boy, he. Girl, she. Things, place, animals, it. Alright? Let's see if you already learned that one. You need to give the right pronoun. He, she, or it. Oops. Okay, the first one is a boy. A boy. He. Very good. A girl. A girl is she. Right. A dog. Dog. Dog is an animal. So it can be he or she. It must be it. Good job. Time to water school. Time to water school. It's a place. So, it. Daddy. Daddy is a man. And it's he. Very good. Grandma. Grandma is a woman. So therefore, she, good job. Mr. John Peter, that's my name. So am I a boy, a girl, or a thing, or an animal, or a place? Yes, I'm a boy. So you can change my name into he, Lisa. Lisa in black pink. <laughs> Alright, Lisa and Blackpink is a girl, so it must be she. Computer. Computer. It's a thing, so we have to put it. Alright, good job. How about if we have some sentences and pictures? Oh. Blank is running. What will you put? He, she, or it. Let's see. The picture is about a girl. And girl in a pronoun or personal pronoun is she. Did you get it correctly? Good job. How about this one? Wow. It's a white temple. Temple is an example of a place. So, we can change the temple into he, she, or it. It. Good. So this one is, it is beautiful. Next one. Wow. What is that? Our sentence is, blank is playing basketball. Blank is playing basketball. Who is playing basketball? Is that a boy, girl, or animal? Yes, it's a boy. So we can change boy into he. Good job. Next one. Wow, that's huge. That's a huge fish. So blank catches a big fish who catches the big fish is that a girl is that a boy is that an animal or a thing it's a boy that's a grandpa right so we can put he all right how about this oh a teacher blank is my teacher in maths class. The teacher 
is a girl, right? So, we can change girl into she. Good job. Right. So, we already did the first three, which are he, she, and it. Now, we will continue our discussion about the remaining four personal pronouns. What are those? We have I, they, we, you. Repeat after me, alright? I, say I. Say I. Okay, good job. They, say they. They, they. Alright, next one. We, we. We, w, e, we, w, e, we. Say we. All right, next one. You, you, you. Okay, good job. So I will explain each of those, all right? I is about yourself. It's about yourself. It's about you. All right? It's about yourself. It's about your body. It's about your face. It's about your hair. All right? It's about your own personal needs. It's, it's about your own reason. Okay? That is I, you, you, yourself, yourself. Okay? They, they. Again, I is for yourself. That means only one. They is about other people. When we say they, that is two or more. Did you understand? Two or more people. Two or more boys. Two or more girls. Or a combination of boys and girls. Alright? So they. They. Next. We. We is about yourself and your friends. Imagine that one, okay? When we say we, it's about you and your friends. Okay? And then the last one is you. You means the person you are talking with. The person you are talking with. So you is not yourself. It's about the person who are talking with you. Okay? So let's see some examples. This is an example of I. See? It's only me. Since it's me. I. I. It's myself. Alright? It's me. That's I. Some examples. I am cute. I love to eat. See? I is you. Uh, you yourself. I can read English words. I hate bad people. I want to learn more. Again, I is for your self. You are talking about yourself. Alright? Okay, next one. You. See? See the boy is uh, doing? He is not pointing himself. Right? He is not pointing himself. He is pointing to other person. That means you or other people. Okay? You, that's like, you are smart. You are beautiful. You can do it. Alright? Again, I is yourself. You is your friend. You is your friend. I, yourself. Alright? Next. Oh. Imagine this is you. Okay? Imagine this is you. 
This is you with your friend. Alright? So, if you are with your friend and you are talking, you must say, we. Just like if this one is uh, talking, maybe she is uh, saying, we are running. We are playing. Alright? So, some examples are, we are smart. We are beautiful. We can do it. That means your friend plus you. Okay? Your friend plus yourself. Your friend plus yourself. That is we. Last one. You need to concentrate with this girl. Okay? See? She is pointing these minions. If you are pointing to other people, okay, you must call them in pronoun as they. They. Okay? So maybe this girl says they are happy. They are playing. They can read and write in English. Okay? So that is, okay, let's review first. I, yourself. You, your friend. We, yourself, and your friend. They, to other people. Alright? As simple as that. Easy, right? Let's see some more examples. We have here, who's this? Yes, this one is Leo, and this one is Amy. So Amy, uh, this one, Amy and Leo says, we are from Australia. We, that means you, for example, and your sister, or your friend, or your mom, or your dad. So you can say, we. Alright? Okay, let's try this one. What is the answer here? Is it he's from the UK or she's from the UK? Remember, this one is a girl. So is it he or she? Yes, it must be she ta -da! so she's from the uk so this is the correct answer how about here is it they are from brazil or she is from brazil for example you are here and then you are pointing this too so what will you say? Is it they are from Brazil or she is from Brazil? Yes, it must be they are from Brazil. Alright? They is because two or more people. We have two people here. Alright? It's because she is for a girl. So this one is wrong. So it must be they are from um, Brazil. Alright? How about here? We have only one boy. Only a boy. Is it we are from Spain or he is from Spain? Only one boy. That means he. Alright? So our answer is he is from Spain. Alright, good job. Next one. Is it they're from the USA or I am from the USA? They is for other people. I is for yourself. So, what will be the correct answer? Yes, very good. The correct answer is 
they're from the USA. It's because they is about people, plural, two or more. All right? Now, I will give you time to do this one. Okay? You need to put he, she, we, they, or it. All right? I will give you time. And if your time is up, All right, if so if your time is up, then you will continue answering this one. All right, your time starts now. 20, 19, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Time's up. Now let's answer. We have one example here. My sister. Sister is a girl. So therefore, we can put, or we need to put, she. Good job. How about this one? Can you read for me this one, please? Come on, try to read. Very good, this is our car. Our car. Car is? Car is? Yes, it's it. A car is a thing. My mom. Mom. Girl or boy? Girl. So we can put she. Good job. Peter. Peter. Peter is a boy. So we can put, or we need to put, he. Jane. Jane is a girl. So therefore, it must be she. Good job. The balloons. Balloons are things. Yes, you're correct. Balloons are things. So we can put it, it, grandpa, grandpa, grandpa is a boy, all right, so we can change it into he, yes, how about Tom and I, Tom is a friend, I is yourself, so friend plus you, or friend plus yourself, it must be we, right? We, okay? How about Tim and Alice? You are not here, huh? Tim and Alice only. So, that is they, all right? And then the last one, my bike. Bike is... A thing so we can change it into it good job everyone good job now let us summarize our learnings for today today we learn about personal pronouns how many pronouns do we have how many very good we have seven what are those we have he, she, it, I, and you. Those are for only one person. But you can also be used in two or more people. We also have we and they. Those are for two or more people. I hope you learned something today. And that's all for today. And see you again for our day three. Bye. Have a good cup.